Hi, welcome to the first video in my series on programming Linux off synths. This is Xsynth or the Dizzy version of Xsynth. I've just fired it straight up, so this is what it looks like as soon as you launch it. Um, this is the, the patch list. What we'll do is we'll just scroll down to the bottom here and pick one of these voices. These are brand new initialized voices that you can use to create your own sounds. Um, you could start with a preset if you wanted to, but we'll start with a brand new sound and click over to the patch edit screen and you'll see this is, these are the actual controls that control how the synth makes its sounds and this is everything that controls the sound so everything you can do with Xsynth you can do from right here. Um, now there are three real main components to the sound on a or to the to a synth like this and how it generates sound. First is the oscillator or the oscillators in this case there's two of them VCO1 and VCO2. VCO stands for voltage controlled oscillator and it's just a term that comes from the days of analog since where these things were actually controlled by voltages. So we've got sort of the basic controls here. Um, the main thing is the waveforms. You can actually set what the waveform of the synth is. We'll, we'll talk more about the actual controls in the next video. But suffice to say, the oscillators are what create the raw sound that comes out of the synth and it go, before it goes through the rest of the bits of it. Um, the next bit along the chain is this, the filter or the VCF in this case. Um, it filters the sound that's coming out of the oscillators. Actually, before we talk about that, this mixer control controls how much of each of the two oscillators goes into the into the, the filter. So it's all the way over here, you just get VCO1's output. If it's all the way here, you get VCO2's. And if it's in the middle, then you get a, an exact mix of the two. And of course, you can set any, any value in between those two. So the VCF or the filter controls which frequencies come through from the oscillators essentially. So you can reduce the frequencies that are coming through by turning this knob down. Um, but again, we'll talk more about the exact controls in another video. Um, after the filter, the sound goes into the amplifier or the VCA, which is represented by these controls here. Um, this is also known as an envelope generator and envelope generators are more generic concept than just applying to the amplifier but the amplifier is the the most common place for one you always have one here um, and this controls basically the the parameters of the sounds volume over time so you can go from you know, an organ where you just hit the key it comes on full volume and until you release the key and it just goes straight to nothing versus say a, a string sound which might sort of fade in and then fade out or piano sound which might hit in really fast and then fade out. So those are the kinds of things you can do with the, the envelope generator there. These, this is another envelope generator which is used for modulation and this is the LFO or low frequency oscillator which is also used for modulation. We'll talk about those and modulation in general in, a, in another video as well.